everyone thank you so much for joining me if you have not watched any of my videos my name is Sharanda I am a vessel for God um, God called me here on YouTube um, for this ministry so I'm just showing up here being obedient um, this is part two of our forgiveness series um, if you missed part one where I talked about forgiving others, I will link that video at the end of this one. But this video here is about forgiving yourself. Um, if you cannot forgive yourself, it's hard to believe that other people have forgiven you. They can tell you over and over that they forgive you and you still will not fully believe it. But did you know not forgiving yourself is a form of bondage? So why would you not want to be on the road to forgiving yourself? And you know that you are entitled to make a mistake. The Bible tells us in Romans chapter 3 verse 10, There is none righteous, no not one. You are not going to do everything right and that is okay. Not in this flesh that we have. You're not going to do everything right, okay? And you probably did not know any better at the time that you did what you did. And now you do, which shows your growth. Even if you have to go and tell that person, I'm sorry, so you can forgive yourself, humble yourself and do that. Like what is going to set you free? That is the ultimate goal. Do you want this burden on you for the rest of your life? Like ask yourself that question because like something has to give. It doesn't matter how bad it was. Forgive yourself. Some people can't stand themselves, and that may be you watching now, because of what you have done. They cannot let it go. You just can't believe that you did that. You wish you could turn back the hands of time and say it different or do it different, but you can't. We can't control time, but we can control what is attaching itself to us. Unforgiveness is attaching itself to you you have the power within yourself to detach from the unforgiveness also the person may have forgiven you but you keep beating yourself up about that you just can't seem to wrap your head around the fact that you took it there and maybe to the extreme right so but god forgives you so you need to forgive yourself Sometimes we say things that we should not have said. Sometimes we do things that we should not have done. You think this is going to be the only time that you say something or do something? You are human. Allow yourself to be human. There is no perfection in you and it never will be. Like we strive for it, but we will never reach it. And maybe it's heavy on you to work toward forgiving yourself because you may have lost family or friends due to something that you have said or something that you have done and now you have to work on getting back in good graces with them because you feel like you have messed up just that bad but rekindling a family or a friend relationship starts with you asking god to forgive you first in romans chapter 3 verse 23 for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And forgive yourself. Thirdly, reach out to the family or the friend or whoever it is and tell them that you are sorry and really truly mean it. I mean, that's all that you can basically do. After that, after that if they can't forgive you, that has nothing to do with you. You have made your peace with God and yourself and you tried to make peace with them, but they did not accept it and that is okay. So stay away from them after that. It's nothing else that you can do. You, you don't need a reminder of what you have done. You are trying to heal past that. They have their own issues that they have to deal with, but you work on you to be a better you. And I applaud you for um, joining me on these forgiveness series because that means that if you clicked on it you um have some maybe some issues or something you know dealing with forgiveness so i commend you for wanting to be a better you i applaud you for that um but you can't control how someone chooses to accept your apology or not life is too short 
And if they want to wallow in bitterness toward you, then so be it. Pray that God works on them concerning their forgiveness struggles. You will still think about it because you are a human, but what drops the weight of that is that God forgave you first. Paul said in 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 15, Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the worst. And Paul was a teacher of the word of God. You are not exempt from doing something wrong. Wrong was being done since the beginning of time. And as long as time is still existing, wrong will be done by all of us at some point. But Paul had a hard time forgiving himself. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 9, For I am the least of the apostles and do not even deserve to be called an apostle because I persecuted the church of God. He was an apostle and felt this way. You may or may not even be a Christian and you still feel this way. It's our human flesh that causes us to do that. So what you said or did can't be no worse than that. He was our, our example and God still called him to do his work. But walking around not forgiving yourself is a heavy burden that we should not be doing. But again, we do it because we are human. It comes with it. It comes with the territory, okay? But in Galatians chapter 5, verse 1, it is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then and do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. Slavery is bondage. Christ died for everybody to set all of us free, not just a selected group of people. You're included in that as well. In John chapter 8, verse 36. So if the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. That's God's grace. If you have been set free, why stay in bondage? There is some good in this process of you not forgiving yourself. There is always good in the bad. And I did a video about that. I'll link that below um, for you all to watch that. Or, yep, I'll link it below. But the good is that now you see that it is possible to forgive yourself with first knowing that God forgave you first. So tell me, are you struggling with forgiving yourself for something? And has this message helped you in any kind of way? Let me know in the comments.